so the colours I'm using, the first one is a pink that I've mixed up in a cup here. Then I've mixed an orange, um, this one's been done in a bottle. It's really great because you can just shake it up, get it really nicely mixed once you're used to your ratios and stuff. Um, these squeezy bottles are really handy um, to paint with. And I'm going to show you how to mix up a yellow in my Costa cup that I had this morning because I'm obsessed with coffee. So um, the colour I'm using is a Pebio yellow, number 48 I believe. So uh, for this particular canvas, I'm using a spoonful, about a tablespoonful, maybe a spoonful and a half, um, and then the same amount of PVA glue, so about 50-50. Make sure you mix it really well, and do bear in mind that PVA glue is white and dries clear, so it may lighten your colour initially, but remember that when it dries, it won't be as maybe as pastel-y. However, I do want my yellow a bit pastel-y, so I'm just adding a little bit of white and stirring it really, really well. And then uh, you want to really gradually add your water. Give it a really quick stir. As you can see, I'm really super fast. Totally, it's a skill you learn. So um, a tad more water, stir it super speed, and yep, yeah, I've done it too watery, I totally did that on purpose. So what I'm going to do um, is just add a little bit more PVA glue. You could add paint and PVA glue if you want, but... Um, should be fine just to thicken it with some PVA. That's better. You'll be able to see the dropping consistency now is kind of more what you want. So now I'm going to add oil. This is actually a super drug hair oil. Um, it's cruelty free and um, it gets really good cells. So two pumps and once again we're going to stir. So now we're going to start to create our dirty pour. I'm starting with yellow. Pour a bit in the bottom of your cup. Then we're going with some orange. And me just having an arty farty moment admiring the cells in the bottom of the cup. As you do, uh, a bit of white. And then I'm going for pink. Back to yellow. And then some more orange and then some white and um, just think about the order that you're putting your colors in the cup it's nice to make sure that the colors that you're putting next to each other into the cup sit well next to each other on the canvas if that makes any sense at all and here I am again obsessing over the cells showing on the top of the dirty pour um, so yeah, be careful not to dump your paint in one place. So we're going for a really gradual S shape down the canvas so that the paint is poured evenly across the surface. So um, to create really big cells, what I usually do is apply some heat first to make some cells and then start tilting my canvas to basically stretch them. pointed at something there. I think I really liked the pink bit. So um, really, really slowly, don't tilt your canvas too hard and you'll end up mushing it all together. So you're just moving the paint around. Think about where you want your cells to go. So those pink cells are really cool. So I'm making sure that they flow down the canvas. Yep, I really liked that pink bit. Keep pointing at it. This is a good point to note that um, it's really helpful to wear gloves, especially if you're doing a few pours in a row because you can get really covered. But um, there's something fun about that. Dirty hands and paint everywhere. And... So I'm just covering all my edges. Um, I'm here I'm pointing at this orange bit that I'm not too fond of. Um, so I'm gonna tilt the canvas again. Um, to bring those pink cells over because they just look so yummy. There's cells within cells there. Um, that's pretty cool. So 
so where I just pointed is where I'm going to apply some more heat. Here comes the gun. So um, a lot of people ask me, can you use a hairdryer? Um, I want to say no. Hairdryers are too strong. Um, you can use a, a chef's torch, but this is like a DIY heat gun for like stripping wallpaper or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, you get really good cells. Um, and there you go. Check it out. So if you like my video, make sure you subscribe to my channel and um, leave a comment. I love to hear what you think. And if you have any requests for some color schemes or if there's anything particular you want to learn, uh, look out for a swipe technique, which I'm going to be doing next. Thanks for watching.